Do you remember those little um, Easter toys that would, when you round them up, they would run around the table and jump a little bit? Well, today I'm going to teach you how to make your own manual little jumping frogs. Um, first, we're going to go over um, the origami itself, um, the purpose of these frogs, and how to make them. Um, so the uh, origami itself was um, is um, the folding of paper to um, make art. Um, uh, to make two-dimensional and three-dimensional objects. Um, in, in Japan, um, it is believed um, that like uh, origami can be used in different ways. Like once, like multiple times there have been, it, it is believed that um, folding 1,000 cranes and giving it to a sick person will heal them. Um, and origami uh, originated in, people say it originated in China, but uh, some people say it originated in Japan, but people don't really know. Uh, next, we are going to go into the purpose of it. Um, first purpose of it is just to have something fun in your backpack, just to carry around. Next purpose is it, uh, of it is, um, the creator of preschool um, said that it brings um, educational benefits to people, and was he was an avid um, proponent in spreading it across the world. And the last point is. Um, that he uh, is that it's a good gift that you could give to your little siblings or your friends or family for Christmas. And now let's get into making our own. So first, you're gonna want to fold your paper in half, hot dog style. And after you do that, you're gonna want to fold your paper diagonally but you're gonna you're gonna want to fold it so that the triangle meets the paper halfway like like this after you're done with that you're gonna want to unfold it and then do the same thing but with the other side Once you're done with that side, you're going to flip it over so that um, the triangle is faced, so that uh, the inside is away from you. Um, it's opposite for me. Uh, but then you're going to want to fold over your piece of, so you're going to want to fold it where the center meets all four points. You're only going to fold it. Once you have that done, you're going to want to take your paper and do this. Once you have that done, you want to take this paper and you want to Pull it down so that you can fold it like into a triangle with the rest of the paper.
after that, you're going to want to take the two folds uh, at the top of the triangle. You're going to go to fold it up so that you can make the legs of the frog. And then, once you have that done, you're going to want to take the bottom of the paper and fold it up to the legs of the frog. Mine is really crooked. Um, so now that you have it folded up to the legs, you're going to want to follow kind of the fold that the legs are gone are in, uh, you're going to fold this side of the paper in, like see how it follows the leg, the line of the leg, and then you're going to want to do that to the other side. And then once you have that, you're just going to want to fold it into the you're going to want to fold the back into the legs again. And then what I did um, was I just take a tiny bit of the paper that was in the back and I just folded it kind of back because I didn't really understand the last part of the tutorial. Um, and then I just kind of pulled them out a little bit. And then you should just touch them, in the, like, push them in the butt, and then it should be done, and it should bounce. And that's how you make an origami frog.